Hi, my name is Alex with Ape Tech Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be answering the question, what is JSM used for, or most commonly known as Jira Service Management? If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel, drop a like if you get value out of this video, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section down below. Now, this video is another special video because it is part of the Summer of Atlassian 2.0 series, which means a couple of things for you. Number one, make sure you do smash the subscribe button as we have a goal of hitting 10,000 subscribers, and we can only hit that goal if you do your part and you help us out by subscribing down below. Number two, this video is sponsored by my good friends over at Resolution. They offer dozens of different applications in the Atlassian Marketplace, and they recently won two different awards from Atlassian. So do make sure you check out their apps. But one that app that I want to highlight that is particularly important and very special is their out of office assistant. If you've ever had a situation where somebody has gone on leave, on vacation, maybe they got sick, maybe they just didn't show up to work, and all of a sudden you have all these Jira issues that belong to them and now they're in a limbo state, well, this out of office assistant is going to help basically reassign automatically these issues so that people can go on vacation, people can afford to be sick, and your flow, your accountability doesn't get disrupted. It's just automatically gonna be taken care of and be delegated and onto the next person. Make sure you show Resolution some love. Link in the description for their applications, for their marketplace postings, and let's show them the power of YouTube. Let's show them what the power of a community can do. Go try out their apps, sign up for their plugins, 30 day free trial, everything's down. All right, let's get into five reasons of what JSM is used for. I use JSM, Jira Service Management, almost every single day. And Jira Service Management, while not as popular as Jira Software, it is still a very powerful tool, very, very awesome tool. Separate price, you do have to pay a different price for these agents, but there's gonna be five reasons why I'm gonna urge you, I'm gonna have you consider using Jira Service Management, especially, especially, and I can't stress this enough, if you are in snow, and ServiceNow, I urge you, I implore of you, please check out and give JSM a try because I just absolutely hate ServiceNow. It is probably the worst tool I've ever seen other than like ClearCase and ClearQuest. And so Jira Service Management, it's gonna be like a chef's kiss for you if you at least give it a consideration. Anyways, let's start off with number one. Jira Service Management at its core, at its foundation, is an ITSM tool, an IT help desk type of thing. It is designed to help basically support the products that you put out into the world. And so if you are creating something and you eventually sell it to customers and your customers are gonna have, they're gonna need help, they're gonna need to maybe add users, maybe you provide a service, right? Maybe you have to reset passwords, maybe you're a managed service provider and you basically want your clientele to be able to come in and ask for help. Well, Jira Service Management is gonna do this really, really well. It is customizable just the same way that Jira software is. So you're not gonna need like extra administrators. If you can be an administrator of Jira software, your administrator for Jira service management is gonna be the exact same person. And so a lot of what you can do in Jira software, you're gonna be able to do from an admin perspective in JSM. And we are gonna be doing a lot of videos on JSM in this channel from now and into the future. So do make sure you subscribe so you follow along for those. But yeah, it's a basically a really good help desk type of thing. One of my favorite features is that you can you actually get an email for your Jira project and then anybody can email that email and a ticket will be created. Also, when your clients do submit a request, whether they fill out a portal form or you can embed your portal into your website or you can have them email in, your clients will be able to become a customer inside of JSM and they'll be able to interact. They'll be able to see the statuses of those requests. They'll be able to add emails. They'll be able to, your team will be able to respond back to them. And most importantly, your team, if you saw my last video last week, your team will be able to talk internally and discuss or publish and ask questions to your customers. So that's really, really cool. So from an IT help desk, JSM is awesome. You can configure the workflows. You can configure the types of requests. It is a really, really cool tool and I highly recommend you check it out. Number two, JSM, unlike any of the other Atlassian tools, has an approval workflow. And this works for a couple of reasons. You can get really creative with this. But one of my common use cases is one of two things. If you're, let's just say that you have Jira Service Management as an internal onboarding type of help desk type of thing where 
somebody who's new to the company, you're gonna have to buy software for them, you're gonna have to buy them a computer, hardware, phone, whatever have you, and your manager needs to approve, well, JSM can have basically, as it transitions from onboarding to like purchase hardware, well, rather than just like blindly purchasing the hardware, you can actually have a manager come in, you can route these approvals to specific people, and then that person will timestamp it, date timestamp it, and basically have a acknowledgement of like, I approve of this, and then it can go to the next state. And if it, that person and only that person doesn't approve, then it's stuck, it doesn't go to the next step. And so with that, you can use it for those kind of situations, or if you're into change management and you create a workflow so that you basically cross your T's and dot your I's, before you push something out to production or whatever change you're making, well, in JSM, you can create an architect, a workflow that does go to specific approvers. And you can have approvers where basically one person approves or a group of people approves. And so you do have some creativity there. You can have multiple stages with multiple layers of approvals. And so if you're looking for a tool that allows you to approve and, and be able to have that accountability, JSM is going to be the only Jira tool that's going to let you do this, and I highly recommend you check it out for that. Number three, knowledge base. Now, I'm going to kind of sprinkle number three with like a 3.5, but this is really, really cool. If you have a Confluence page with all this information in it, with how-to articles and guides and, and what have you that you want to expose to like your customers or your clients, well, rather than them always submitting requests because I don't know how to reset my password, but let's just say that you have a how to reset a password page in Confluence, well, you can create a knowledge base on top of your JSM that when somebody goes, can't reset my password as a request, instantaneously a how to article will pop up for them that says, hey, you might wanna read this article because it might show you or help you fix your problem without having to create a support desk and or, or burdening your agents so that they don't have to answer questions that are always common. So that knowledge base is really, really cool. And it's free. That's what's also really cool. So you don't have to pay for the Confluence license. And because your users are just an end user, they're a customer, they're not an agent, it's also free for them. So it's basically a very free bonus, if you will, that basically allows you to tap into Confluence. It allows you to have your customers be able to submit requests, be able to look up information, all without having to pay a license. So it's all free and it's really, really cool. So that's kind of like three and three and a half. Number four, if you start bumping up, right? So JSM from that perspective, those are like the bread and butter. Those are the bare bones of JSM. But JSM does, if you promote yourself to the premium version, keep in mind you do double your price for your agents. But if you do go up to the premium, then we unlock two new features that I wanna talk about. Number one of that, or basically my number four, if you're following along in the order, that is on-call support. So alerts and being able to like swarm an incident or what I'll just call incident management, JSM is going to basically escalate the way that your team attacks problems. And so if you are connected to your source code or main, if just creating like services and stuff like that, you can create scenarios where if something goes down, you can create an alert that then goes out to your on-call team based on a schedule that you can define in Ops Genie, which is integrated into JSM. And basically your team can open up an attack channel, what they call swarming, and they can go and triage and they can go figure out the problem. They can attack the problem, fix the problem, and manage the alerts, escalate, do whatever they gotta do. So alerting and on-call and support, incident management, really cool functionality. It is a little harder to do. I've actually set these up a couple of times and it's not for the faint of heart. It does require some, some technical skill to get going. But if you're interested in that kind of a situation, if you are a 24 seven, you're expected to keep your services running type of situation, you might wanna consider JSM for that. And then finally, number five, and my least favorite, I absolutely hate this, but asset management in JSM, premium only feature as well. It's a fun thing. It's asset management, don't get me wrong. It's a great thing. It's a very powerful thing. It's worth the double the price, but and it's just so really complex. If you're so if you're trying to basically track like quantities of something or you're trying to track ownerships of who has what asset in your company, then I would recommend that you give assets a try. It is very complex to set up though. You do need somebody that kind of is there to guide you to help you understand because assets is like very agnostic to anything and like it works for everything. And like you can track a piece of gum wrapper if you wanted to. So there's like a lot of layers and variations that you can do here. And so I highly recommend you kind of come in with a consultant on this one, but if you are gonna be using assets 
It is a very, very powerful, rich feature. Atlassian acquired this company like two or three years ago. They've embedded it and it's just part of the JSM UI if you're a premium subscriber. And it's one of the cool things, it's cool, one of the cool functionalities of JSM. One of the harder ones, one of my least favorite ones to set up as an admin because it's just, it's very overwhelming, it is a lot. But it is nonetheless a really cool feature that when you do set it up correctly, the automations that you can fold into your Jira automations and just to your workflows and stuff, it is like really, really cool. So do recommend you check it out. So those are the five reasons why JSM is a cool tool, what it's used for. And I highly recommend that if you haven't given JSM a consideration, Jira Service Management, highly recommend you check them out because those are just five, right? There's many more integrations, pretty much a lot of what works in Jira. It's gonna full out over to JSM, same interface, same administration, but just a couple of other cooler things that you get with JSM. And so those are my top five. Let me know in the comment section below if you wanna know more about JSM. I do plan on making way more videos on JSM. This is gonna be my Wednesday JSM series, which by the way is sponsored by my good friends over at Resolutions. Do make sure in the description down below, you go check out the uh, link to go learn more about Resolution. Go check out their out of office plugin assistant that works for Jira. This is gonna be really cool if you ever have a ticket, a support ticket in your JSM that basically doesn't, that just is lingering because somebody went on vacation or somebody's out of office, they're on vacation, they're, on, they're sick, whatever the reason may be, the out of office assistant is gonna integrate and collaborate with your calendars so that the assignment automatically is going on to the next person. That way your issues don't get stuck in limbo. Do go make sure you check out the official sponsor for my Wednesday JSM series. Go show Resolution some love down below. Go show them the power of YouTube. Go show them what power, what the power of the community. Go and set up a trial for their out of office assistant. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it again. Don't forget this is part of the Summer of Alaskan 2.0 series, so make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you go check out the Jira Life. A lot of things coming at you, but do go show your support. Go help out and appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next one. I love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need